I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both! I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever! But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion! Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. 
This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh, 
Oh. Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times, tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, Come over here! It's your old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, okay, if you, if you say, say so, so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess.
Well, I'll just run to the chronojohn. There's something in the chronojohn. Super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. Fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. Water's all sudsy now. Ah, 
Excellent. I need that for my super battery. Excuse me. Yes? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. Whoa. Indeed. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said, come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner, getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I flushed it. Ted is red. See red Ted. Hey boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time! Nice cigars! I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories! So, oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. I'll use the chronogon. Did a little pick me up? <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family.
this beautiful 4,000 karat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh well. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. A three headed monkey. Huh? I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I import them from the finest Cuban munitions factories. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? I don't get it. Get lost, kid! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Wow! Whew. 
Whew. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. Nineteen sixty eight, nineteen seventy four. Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, 
Nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamp. You ruined my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Negative feelings. Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah. Here's a suggestion. 
It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Excuse me. Yes? Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. You big baby. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Okay, who was the idiot who started the fire?
It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there! I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, alright. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business.
I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Yoo hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? 